Hey, so what you doing here, soap witch? Your hair is already dead while you're here for a styling video. What well, is a special styling video, okay? So in this video, since my hair is already done, you know that's not what I'm doing. What we're gonna be looking at today is my hair transformation over the past four years, right? 2019 through 2023, that's four years, right? Okay, so we're gonna say that's four years. I can count, I have a math degree. Anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna take you year by year. You're gonna see what my hair looked like in 2019. Ooh. And it's gonna take you all the way through some of my most recent videos. And you are going to be amazed as I was amazed as I was looking through these old videos and just what an incredible transformation it is. All right, so 2019, where it all began, sort of, kind of, where it's where the video <laughs> recordings began. So here I'm washing my hair at the time. I called it a shampoo bar, but it was really soap. Not good, don't wash your hair with soap. Anyway, when I go into deep conditioning, I was using Tensing Tonic at the time. And then I was brushing it through with a detangling brush. You could see the Brillo pad hair in full effect and scraggly damaged ends. So I couldn't wash and go at this time. And so I just did other natural styles. In this case, it was a roller set with perm rods. So um, I had just cut my hair into a bob. So obviously it was fairly short, but I had decided that it was actually kind of labor intensive and I was going to grow it back out. So here's the 2019 and now we're on to 2020 and in 2020, <laughs> who the girl was wilding out. Um, so I was actually doing an oil treatment not to be cute, confused with a hot oil treatment because um, I was not really warming up my oils. They were just kind of room temperature, which I have found out recently. That's not enough. But I was putting it on and then sleeping, covering it up um, so that it wouldn't destroy, you know, my pillows and sheets and then going to sleep, waking it up, taking it down. So then um, I hadn't gotten the gist of putting my whole get up in the shower so I was doing I was just wetting my hair and then getting back out and do it in the mirror on camera so there I was using an actual shampoo bar made of surfactants no longer soap and the Brillo pad hair is still in effect and the scraggly ends are still looking terrible and I'm using tempting tonic and a Denman brush this time so the hair is grown out as you can see and I had not mastered, uh, you know, the hair stuff yet. It is still taking me some time. And so I was using the LCO method and I used my leave-in, I used the styling cream and I used the oil. And then I went ahead with the flat twist that I am no pro at, but it gets the job done. I like to roll the ends. I still actually do it the same way on my, you know, healthier, longer hair. Um, so here's me just taking it down and giving you a full view. All right, and, and now we're moving on to 2021. And in 2021, you can see that it has gotten longer and fuller, a little grayer. All right, but you know, we won't, we won't harp on that. Using, still using the shampoo bar, which is a true shampoo bar, not soap. Don't use soap, people. Um, obviously, I learned to get, do my get up in the shower. There was our first view of Twilight Tempest, deep conditioning hair mask, which is one of my biggest game changers. And here I am finger detangling. Um, so yes, I am doing the wash and go for the first time here. Well, what, this is when I first started really doing them. And so I did them in sections <laughs> and on sopping wet hair because that was just the best direction I had to go at the time and go with at the time. Does that sound right? Best direction I had to go with. So these are my wet results and these are some of the best wet results I had ever had, you know, in my life up until this point. Brillo pad hair, definitely we're getting rid of it. I let it air dry, so that's kind of what we're looking like there. So 2022, getting closer and closer, right? So here we are, just wild hair. Who know what I did? Probably dance class and everything else. And uh, you'll notice these processes are a lot similar to what I do now. Whipped Wonder in full effect. I had officially graduated from shampoo bars and moved to my wonderful whipped charcoal shampoo with clay. And it lathers beautifully still to this day. So I rinsed it all out. You that hair already wanting to dry. High porosityness. Hello. Using that Twilight 
Tempest to deep condition and hair mask because it had been absolute game changer. Look at those curls clumping beautifully. Uh, I'm just going ahead and putting it all in Bantu knots to prepare to do the same method I was doing before. And in comes Mysterious Magnificence Moisturizing Aloe Vera Spray. This is really where it's starting to come together for me. Um, here is where I started using the same products I'm using now for the most part, except for there I'm using the aloe vera gel instead of the sea moss gel because I really wanted to just see which one I like better. So here are those wet results. Look at the difference in the hair, the length, the texture, the health. Y'all, really, it has been years, but there we go. I had gotten into diffusing at this point because I felt like it just gave, gave me better results. And you can see it does look less frizzy. Um, of course, that's to a lot of things, not just because of the diffusing. So all right coming into the present 2023 yes my best life that's me right here probably just a video i did a couple of weeks ago even i think so that hair that length look at it who is that girl it's me whipped wonder <laughs> coming in full effect still using it going strong i love that stuff it lathers till i get lost in the bubbles and uh, it is my go-to i love it so rinsing all out singing my favorite song using tempting tonic because i'm back to using that now after years of using the hair mask detangling with that amazon brush that i'm so attached to and then a little finger detangling at the end just to get it clumping back and putting it up in bantu knots but you know what we're gonna take that down and rinse it out and look at those locks y'all i'm just saying and uh, i like to rinse it out now or not rinse it out what's the word uh, ring it out there we go <laughs> before i go ahead with the styling so still using that mysterious magnificence is a game changer and a lifesaver using it and i rake until it uh what does it do foam and i use that styling cream still to this day because it's great sea moss hair gel is my ultimate friend because it is still the best y'all and here are my new techniques that you're seeing that i use today where i separate the hair out um, instead of just leaving it in big clumps like you saw the way it looked last year and then I'm still doing the diffusing because it works it just works and then here's me stretching the hair because you know now I'm on that kick which I love the results a lot better look at that hang time I'm just saying we're gonna fluff those roots and now I am living my best life y'all so I mean what do you have to say about it it speaks for itself honestly it's, it's not just the product, so of course it is. But I would never just sit there and say, hey, buy my product. Just, you know, I mean, of course, us makers would like for people to buy our products. But a couple things. As you can see, it took a long time for me to get the results. It would be nice if it was just like, you know, a one and done. I, I apply this stuff today and uh, it worked miracles. I totally wish that was happening for me and I know I was <laughs> super disappointed in the beginning when that was not happening. But as I researched, I found, you know, other people who had gone through a hair journey had beautiful, luscious curls, um, you know, like I was going after. And they said it was years. Like it was years in the making for them to heal the damage that had done to their hair, to train their hair. And so it's years of finding the right products even if they're not mine, <laughs> using those products on a regular, consistent basis. So for me, it's once a week, but for you, it could be two weeks or whatever. Your mileage may vary. And then also, I already said finding the right products, but a lot of people talk about like the number and lettering system, you know, one, two, three, four, <laughs> ABC, you know, all that. And I feel like that plays kind of a small role. Like it does affect the curl pattern. So if we don't have the same, you know, number letter combination, your curls won't look like this. But um, hair porosity plays the biggest role in I feel like the outcome of your styles. If your hair does not accept moisture, it is just, you are going to struggle with getting the look that you want uh, because it just kind of, you know, it, it can get brittle, um, if you, especially if you have low porosity hair, or it can be super frizzy if you have high porosity hair. Um, so just like knowing your hair type, knowing what product works with that, being realistic about um, what your curl pattern looks like and what it could do, all that plays in consistency, right? Consistency um, and just being in it for the long haul because you know, it's, it's your hair. I think it's about um, self-care and self-love and just nurturing what you have to the best of what it can be. So, <laughs> with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you later.